Hey guys, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season where I take you all the way through winter through to the next fall here in my small operation in Southeast Louisiana. And as always remember, this is not a how-to video. I'm no big giant bee expert. I'm just a guy raising bees, doing my thing, trying to figure it out year by year. But if you happen to pick up any tips and tricks, that's wonderful. And if you have any tips and tricks for me, be sure and leave me in the comment section. Well, folks, I'm sure you guys remember this spot if you watched my video about picking up a swarm box and also sending out my swarm boxes. This is a location where I've always caught uh, bees, but I've never put a second one out here. But that's, that's why I do my boards the way I do. Is if I choose to, I can always put a second one up there with no effort. All I do is slide another box up there and I walk away. So I went out to a location where I had put a box. And if you watched the previous video, which I will put that link right up there I um, found a box that two years ago no last year it, it didn't catch it didn't have scouts it didn't have anything this year no scouts so far so when I picked up all those boxes or went to all those boxes in that video that I just linked well it, it still wasn't showing promise now two consecutive years before last year I caught bees in that box but for some reason, they're just not going back there. I don't know. If the, maybe the hives that were nearby died out. Not sure. So I decided to pick that box up out the woods. And I was going to go check this other bait box. And I said, well, you know what? I got that stand hanging there. And I thought about putting another one up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw it up here. I'm going to reconfigure some frames. I got an old, um, uh, some old nasty comb in there. I'm just going to make sure they're where I want them. And they didn't fall apart. Throw a little bait uh, freshening in there. Stick it back up here. And I'm going to roll on out. So, come on along with me. Let me do that real quick. Then we'll go down the road and check that other one. See if maybe the scouts are still there. Freshen up a little bit of lemongrass in that one. And go on back to the house and enjoy a nice long way, all the way around about way, back home, through the woods, away from people, keeping my distance. All right, let me get this done. So, let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. This is old comb. This is my bait. It's all said and done. That's my bait. Still smells lemony. And I've got an actual uh, Man Lake bait left from one of the swarms I caught that I took out of that box. Actually, I think it was from here. Yeah, I got this. I got this old bait left over. I buy these at Man Lake. I really like them. I think they do fine. The bees chewed it open, but you tell they, you don't have to open them. But yeah, two vials. You don't break them. You never even see them normally. I pulled up to this location, started backing my truck up, and there was bees flying around. So I'm gonna stick this in here. That's for good measure. And the person next door that owns this property. He actually had bees trying to get in his house um, last week. So there's still some swarms around. Of course, that one's probably it's too late. They probably found somewhere he was able to seal his house. Thank goodness. They're trying to get in the uh, second floor floor joist. That would not have been good. I told him what to do, and uh, he did it. So I'm putting Swarm Commander on here, which I honestly believe is nothing more than lemongrass oil. I'm sure the guy put something else in there, but... Guys, I'm going to tell you now, caught swarms with just lemongrass oil and old comb. My swarms haven't been any bigger. They haven't been any smaller, but they haven't been any bigger with Swarm Commander. And I've caught them all within about the same time frame as I normally do. But, eh. I'm glad I could help him out. He's, he's just like everybody else, trying to make a living. So, glad I could help him out. I got a bottle of it. For the price, though, I'm not sure I'd buy it again. That's, I'm not trying to say anything bad about his product at all, guys. Just saying. There, look at there. Got a bee flying around already. Oh, roach. Let it go. That's it.
done deal. It's just that easy. Hey guys, going back down the road, check this other box. But folks, I haven't taken y'all out to this um, this swarm box yet. This is the one that's on somebody else's property. I'm gonna go out and check and see if there's any scouts and freshen up the bait. You know, this thing had a bunch of scouts and then a week later had no bees. So sometimes that happens. They find a better place to go. I don't know, it just happens that way. But uh, I'm gonna go at least freshen up the, the uh, towel in there and I usually leave until mid-April if I don't catch anything by mid to end April then I then I bring it on down but uh, the actual guy that lives here went and checked it the other night and still was no action so I want to go at least see if there's some scouts on it and uh, freshen up the lemongrass and then we'll, we'll leave it out another few weeks all right let me get across this fence and let's go look and see what we got all right folks so not a promising sight here uh, no scouts and it's a good part of the day for scouts to be out that's a little late at 10 in the morning usually to about two o'clock and then i see them in the evenings but uh nothing out here right now um and again there was 10 to 20 of them on here um two weeks ago and so to have not caught a swarm tells me that those scouts from one colony or multiple colonies uh bottom line is they found somewhere else so they were scouting out several places and this turned out not to be one they wanted so let's get this bait freshened up all right guys here's what we got went out here and uh didn't see any scout bees one bee did buzz by me when i was freshening up the uh lemongrass doesn't look promising though because um when you have that many and then you don't have that many scout bees it's usually a sign that the hive that was scoping it out has uh, found a better location there's bees all out in the little wildflowers there's bees around here there's definitely a secondary swarm coming off of somewhere <clears throat> or you know there's always still a chance and it look it's just now the uh, 30th or the 31st whatever it's just now the end of the month so end of March there's still you know I've caught swarms all the way up through May so just gonna give it a little more time uh, what I did do is I took some frames out I only left three frames with the comb in them freshened up the bait and I still got a man lake bait in there which is supposed to be good for three months and uh, we'll leave it up there and see if uh, see if we get anything it's not hurting anything I'm not out of equipment yet um, I was getting close but uh, I did some combines and such took care of that so that's what I did I know it's not an exciting video I hope you joined me for the whole thing um, because like I always say it's still part of my beekeeping season here in 2020 it's not always uh, going through bees and having a good time sometimes it's doing the doing the boring things that you got to get done um, to bump up your numbers or to take care of your swarms or to get equipment ready or whatever it may be it's not always exciting so um, it was just part of my season and somebody asked well why are you going so far out and well, you got you know uh, bait boxes spread out all over the place well I guess because it's more of an adventure that way what's the fun in having one close to home Which I got a couple maybe close to home I put them there before but where's the adventure in that that's no adventure this is more fun. You're going on a going on a trek to go see if you got any bees, and uh, hey, the trek paid off. We've got uh, we've got a few swarms in the boxes now, so yeah, two of them. And uh, hopefully we get a third one here, and we put another one back in the tree at the other location. So who knows? It's always a surprise. It's like uh, sometimes it just bees that way. His YouTube page, he said it's like fishing. You know. If you caught fish every single time you went, they call it catching, not fishing, right? All right, guys. Well, look, hope you're able to stay along for the whole ride. I'm going to head on back to the house, hit the back roads. I am definitely doing my due diligence to distance myself from everything and everybody. I'm going back to the house, hang out there. I'm going to take the back roads and enjoy the ride and get out and see some sights. So, guys, look, um, I hope everybody is staying safe out there. I hope you're abiding by the rules and doing what you can to slow everything down that's going on. I'm sure trying to do my part. I hope everybody's staying safe. And look, 
I appreciate everybody that's watching. I sure do appreciate the subscriptions and I appreciate all the thumbs up you give me. If you did like the video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Again, notification bell lets you know every time I'm uploading a video and share it with your friends, your family, and anybody just enjoys watching bees. So you guys have a wonderful afternoon and God bless y'all. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike and I do bees.